it's showing as e code it's not draining and not spinning and this is a drain problem so we already opened this part and we already drained from here and we clean the filter uh, it was already clean so this is a uh, first step to fix some this problem but it's already clean so we have to go for the hard way which means i have to pull this uh, front and then clean the drain from the back uh, that's that is choked and it's not draining the water so we will do that so we basically uh, draining the remaining water from so there is this pipe you can unplug with this thing remove it and drain all the remaining water because it's not draining and then open this filter and make sure it's there is no blockage so we have to remove two screws one from here at the back and one from here we already lose it and then we will remove this top part so it basically slides open so we have to slide this thing and open we have to remove this so there is a clip you can press and then this thing will come out so and then we have to remove these screws to remove this front panel so by removing this we can remove this whole front panel okay. Okay. next we have to remove three screws one two three to detach the lock so and then there is one two three four screws on top we have to remove slide it out and then we can simply pull this up and this panel will come out so this one is the drain motor which is faulty and i i have to to take it out i have to remove three holes one this one was connected here this one was connected here and this is the drain hose which was connected here so remove all three and then this was secure with two screws here and then this whole thing comes out so we will replace this motor so we installed the new motor and the old one is here you can see it's and now we are going to put this in and then this bush going to slide into this channel we have to reconnect the wiring blue wire and this one secure with the front screws so we have reconnected all the hoses and the motor and everything is connected so we mount the front panel secure screws and then this rubber thing we are going to put it back on place this goes here and very important thing is to once we have this on all, all over we have to put this this one have a spring and this goes over here all the way and then use a small screwdriver to secure this one so reconnect the harness snap in and then the front pan and then we will re-secure all the screws so after putting everything back we start the machine and it's working fine and there is no error code thank you